Welcome back, everyone, to the Westport Independent. Now, wow, man, we're, we've gotten the people's political opinion to the loyalists all the way. And we are still in the nine well trustings of the government. And our popularity is crawling ahead just a little tiny bit. Now, let's take a look. Oh, that's right. Suffers further financial losses. Lays oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Wow, Robable is not doing so well. How about we... I, I don't want to... I don't want to ram on them any harder, so... Ooh, I'm not going to touch that one. Police arrests Union Chairman. Union leader excuses protesters' violence while blaming police. Now, today, Union... Union Chairman Ernest Lynch was arrested today for suspected rebel ties. Organizing many of Westport's recent protests, protests Lynch was becoming was has become a hero of the working class. These protests have been accused of disturbing the peace and promoting violence. Lynch claims that the violence in question was self-defense against attacking police officers. Ooh, ooh, no, 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 no. Yeah, Phil will do it. How about Frank? Frank will do it. I think that'll be for Frank. Rebels influence Westport the papers. No. Today, police started with investigation into rebel influences within Westport's media. This is due to a large number of suspected rebel letters being found at the now vacant Northern Herald. Signed, Friendly Rebel Neighbor, several of the letters contain references to various acts of terror. This is why the public culture nil is ne bill is needed, the president stated to the press. Man, fantastic. Bill, yeah, we'll do it. Uh, ten people reported still missing. Police says... Stay silent about potential kidnapping case. Two weeks have passed since ten people were reported missing and still no trace. The victims were all suspected members of a small rebel- No! Oh, oh, rebel groups. I know this government. We don't want to- No, we don't want to- We don't want government. We don't want government. Uh, founded to educate the child nation's- Ooh, that's a good one. New youth group founded to educate the nation's children. Loyalists attempt to- No. Yesterday, the government announced the formation of a new youth group titled Loyalist Youth. The goal it sounds like Boy Scouts. I don't know why. I don't know why I got that feeling. The goal is to offer fun and educational activities for inter intercity children, such as hiking and camping. Children will also be taught loyalist values and earn ranks based on their knowledge of behavior. That, that seems kind of nice, good to me. So, and that's all about education. You're a parent. Uh, come on, this is too big. This is too big. Rumble Industries lays off 400 employees. Rumble Industries takes out financial issues on its employees. Uh, further financial losses. Keeps the falling record. How about Ruby Stars? That that's good. That'll appeal to the people in the northern. Who Star throws away more money on clothes? Oh, that's such a scandal. Let's do it. Renowned movie star Harold Finn has invested in the latest fashion line by designer Vera Venezua. Ve there was no Z at the end there. Vezana. I was speechless, the movie star said when seeing Venezua's work for the first time. I've never seen anything like it, but just like it before. He has great taste, the designer stated. Only a few could tell the difference between fashion and garbage, and Mr. Finn is one of them. Look, that's not true, so let's just have that. Julie, you can do that. Proceed to layout. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, this one will definitely sell. You'll do good. You'll do good. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. How about this? We have that movie star thing in the front. So that way we get the most celebrity out of it. Because we have a lot of society here. But any crime? Yeah, it's a little bit of crime. Any industry? Yeah, quite a bit of industry. So I guess it's up to me, huh? Chairman, you, and you. Okay, marketing. Now you, you guys. You guys can take 20%, 25%. You guys, ooh, you can take like 30%. 20% for you. Let's give you about 20? 20%? 20 and you can have the rest. Oh, bring this down by 5. I want to give the Southern Districts even more. Publish! So I heard they're finally going to make a... 
make use of the old well Wellsters and Sons shop across the street. They're opening a fast food place, right? It's supposed to be some sort of global sensation. So I guess uh, it'd be interesting to try out. Yeah, it just raises your appetite, doesn't it? A bunch of corporate pig vultures swooping in to pick the bones clean. Classic. I went to Jolie's once when I was abroad. Awful food and rude personnel. I think the concept is brilliant. It's affected its efficiency. Its efficiency at the highest degree. Oh, there's a, yeah. I wish they used those degrees to heat up their food instead. Oh. So McDonald's. Week four. Man, these guys are loyalists all the way now. I'm gonna have to do a runway, try to get the northern suburbs to be to be rebels, to be the rebels they are. Because it's really easy to get them to be loyalists. And it looks like we've almost sold out. Wow. Oh, well, our popularity just... You've got mail. Join the president's birthday celebration. We can use that. We can use that to paint a good picture on him. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Preparations for the president's birthday are in full swing. The city is as lively as ever in preparation for the president's birthday next week. Parades are planned for the celebrations, as well as festivities as a festival in Liberty Square. According to reports, uh, nobody needs to. Nobody needs to know that. No one needs to know that. Uh, Frank, can you do that? Yeah, thank you. New law to combat illegal workers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Immigration is a big issue, at least in this time of age. Did a parliament passed a new law to combat the rise of illegal immigration? It will require all workers to supply a Westport societal social security number for, before being hired. Employees will also be charged for employee for employing refugees or citizens lacking citizenship. That's not good. Oh, Phil's the. Uh, uh, Julie? Julie will do it. You're. No, you're the loyalist. Why didn't you do that? Hmm. Ooh, crazed gunman murders family of four. Vindictive rebel kills family of four in their sleep. Tragedy struck yesterday evening as a mur murder occurred in the northern suburbs. A lone perpetrator broke into one of the homes, shooting the residents with a shotgun. The victims were Rumble, ma were Rumble manager Stan Charlson and his wife and daughter. Holy crap! The killer, who was caught soon afterwards, was a former Rumble employee and suspected rebel. Ooh. New committee to monitor devious contact in... No. Government burns books... Government prevents the spreading of rebel propaganda. Haha! -ha. Yesterday, Liberty Square lit up as the police officers started burning books. Uh, that just says books. And... I don't know how you can. I don't know how you can take that. I guess it depends on what's all down here. The event was a result of months of collecting books from various libraries and stores. The collected books were work supporting anti-government se sentiments. Some protesters arrived at the scene, but were easily held back by police. I think that's really all we can do. See the layout. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. That is no Did you just offer nothing? Oh, screw it. Which one was that? Was it the... Yeah, that was the spreading... You! You can get out of here, then. If you're not gonna offer anything, you're not gonna be here. Shut down smuggling ring. Ooh, this is a good one. Text. Nope. Yesterday morning, police raided a market market located in the southern docks. According to the police, the market is suspected of harboring multiple bank black market vendors. The market will be closed off for a month to repair damage caused by the raid. Many inhabitants on the southern docks will... No. I'm, I'm afraid that we can't really say that without damaging the look of the police. So let's not do that. Uh... Ooh, that's a lot of industry and crime. Smuggling ring. Ooh, a lot of crime. Okay, so we only got one that's celebrity, so let's put that on the front here. And not much celebrity, I gotta say. Yeesh. But a lot of everything else. You're gonna get 15%, given how low that is. You're gonna get 20%. You're gonna get 30%. And you're gonna get 30%. You're gonna get 20%. There we go. There we go. Publish. How do you plan on spending your day during the president's birthday? I don't really know. I don't really plan plan joining the celebration, so I guess I'll just stay I'll just stay at home. 
Me and my husband are taking my son to see the parade. I also plan on stopping by the parade. It's going to be held not too far from my apartment, after all. And that's wonderful. Wonderful. Seven weeks left. Okay. Okay. Ooh, wow. Some popularity just went down. Wow. And I think the bars are maxed out, so how about we just say some neutral stuff now? Plus 11 loyalist. And then minus 6 popularity. Ooh, wow, we just hurt our own popularity. Okay. Comfort. His comfort's high. His comfort's, uh, her comfort's really high. Okay, everybody is overall pretty com pretty comfortable, so let's just, let's just have some neutral stuff from now on. Pulp starts cold, bombing it by the southern bar. Wow. Here we go. Rumble Industries moves branch headquarters to Westport. Rumble Industries brands country... Wow, I cannot talk right now. Darrell Corp has announced their intentions to move their headquarters to Westport. Romival claims the move to be the starting point of the industry's grants, gr giant's plans of localizing their business into the city. The company further expects this to create a new swing of jobs in Westport. Uh, you, our rebel, can take that. Movie star arrested for participating in protests. As much as I would love, I'm gonna hire an illegal. Ooh! Construction company accused of hiring legal immigrants. Westport contractors, a safe haven for foreign criminals. Yeah, you know, now we just we just paint a good picture for this thing. How about we, we stop being so, such a negative Nancy for once? Construction company Westport contractors faces accusations of hiring illegal immigrants. Well, yeah, I say that, and we're looking at this article here. The accusations were leveled by various clients of the company who complained about sloppy workmanship and language issues. As a result, the company is to be audited audited by government officials to examine these claims. Ooh, that's a juicy one. Aha! All over Westport. The president's birthday was celebrated all over Westport. Parades were held in Liberty Square in the northern suburbs. At the same time, protests... No. Nope. We're not going to tell about any riots. We just want a happy, nice, happy country. Uh, movie star... For participating in protest. Well, Harold Finn was arrested during protest in the Western Districts. In addition to the movie star, 58 other protesters. The actor claims that he was not actually participating in the protest, but merely passing through the crowd when a police officer grabbed him. Okay. You see that? You received a layout. Movie star arrested. Ooh, that's a lot of celebrity. Rumble Industries. Okay. Accusations. And birthday. Now, since we we're trying to get popular again, how about we have everything... We have some celebrity stuff here, and we some industry here. That's a rather well-rounded area. So I, I say 25% for everybody. 25% for you, 25% for you, 25% for you, 25% for you. There we go. That's nice and well-rounded. Did you catch the game last night? Yeah, it caught, caught it on the radio. That last goal was brilliant. Me and my husband were shouting at the top of our ears when they won. Did you catch the game, Julie? Oh no, sports are not really my thing. Really? Didn't know there was anyone in Westport who wasn't keeping up with the finals. Honestly, I don't really need to follow the game to keep track of how it's going. I just need to open the window during a game during a game night and all the shouts will tell me how the game went. <laughs> that is so true. Okay, week six. Uh, oh my word, that, that was hilarious. I love that. I love that so much. Sometimes it's very true. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope to see you later. Take care, everyone.